Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. You're fired. Don Lemon tweeted this out this morning, and now CNN is clapping back at him. But let me read you Don Lemon's statement because it is so beautiful here. I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I'm stunned after 17 years at CNN. I would have thought that somebody in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. You heard it here, you have seen it here. Finally, Don Lemon is now out of a job. He's no longer with CNN. CNN has just let him go because of his antics and his way, his low rate in shows. Well, it took so long, but it's finally done. Don Lemon's statement on Twitter doesn't make any sense and it's inaccurate says Don Lennon's statement about this morning event is inaccurate. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. You see how disregarding this young man is? Wow. Interesting. No wonder he got fired. For black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad that part wasn't about fought it. For, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, no funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment rights were secured. And I think that that's one of the black lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. I disagree with you. And I think you're doing a disservice to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have you already black the law skin again. and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that we have three different shades. Don, I think we have to be able to talk about these issues in the open, regardless of the color of our skin. Black Americans today to say that compare that to 1865 and 1964. I'd like to either compare it to 1865 and 1964. Actually, I think it's insulting to black people. It's insulting to me as an African American. I don't want to sit here and argue with you because it's infuriating for you to put that to put those things together. It's not right. Your telling of history is wrong. Your what, what you're what part of the history was wrong. What, 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 what part of the history, history was wrong? That the Civil War was fought. You're making people think that the Civil War was fought for black people only for black people to get guns and for black people to. The have, Civil War was fought for right. black people in this country to get freedoms, a noble mission, and I think that. It, even yes, after, right. even after we to, succeed,ed to we had to actually secure those freedoms. To reduce it in a speech at the NRA to say you're making people think, or you're trying to say that black people uh, to get guns that was that, that was the reason that you're there at the NRA. That's finally happened. That's finally happened as everyone expected. Now CNN has the galls now to get rid of this guy, Dudlin and fired. I know a lot of people have heard of this and are excited about it, but it's happened. So we're not going to hear such rhetoric that doesn't make any sense on CNN. Somebody who used to be pro-black is now not pro-black. When you're not pro-black, guess what? You get fired from places like that. When you're woke pro-black, you also get fired. So people like Don Lennon, mm -hmm. see ya. I don't know if he's going to have another job after this. But whatever he has, he's not going to carry his non-existent followers from CNN to his new show. Well, this is coming when, you know, there's all of this wealth and you hear about it comes as England is facing rising costs of living, a living crisis, austerity budget cuts and so on. And then you have the, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism. And they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are... You know, you have all of this vast wealth. Those are legitimate concerns. Well, I think you're right about reparations in terms of if people want it, though, what they need to do is you always need to go back to the beginning of a supply chain. Where was the beginning of the supply chain? That was in Africa. And when that crossed the entire world, when the slavery was taking place, which was the first nation in the world that abolished sla uh, slavery? The first nation in the world to abolish it. It was started by William Wilberforce, was the British. In, in Great Britain, they abolished slavery. 2,000 naval men died on the high seas trying to stop slavery. Why? Because the African kings were rounding up their own people. They had them on cages waiting in the beaches. No one was running into Africa to get them. And I think you're totally right. If reparations need to be paid, we need to go right back to the beginning of that supply chain and say who was rounding up their own people and having them handcuffed in cages. Absolutely. That's where... They should start. And maybe, I don't know, the descendants of those families where they died at the, in the high seas trying to stop the slavery, that those families should receive something too, I think, at the same time. It's an interesting discussion, Hillary. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We'll continue to, to discuss in the future. We'll talk about it more in the future. 
this is the future that would never happen. Here we are in the future. Don Lennon is fired. So this conversation would never happen. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Like this channel, subscribe to this channel. And we'll see you on the next one.